todas las actualizaciones de Brawl Stars en un solo vídeo. Global is coming and we have an update for you. We have a brand new beautiful 3D environment, skin and brawler revamps and a brand new legendary brawler all coming in this update. Okay everybody, put on your 3D glasses because Brawl Stars is adding extra dimensions. We upgraded all our environments to be rendered in real time 3D. And not only that, we also used the opportunity to make all the maps a little bit wider. And for you hardcore players out there, don't be afraid, the viewing angle is still the same. Once I got my hands on the 3D, I could not go back. You guys are gonna love it. Now you guys have heard us talk a lot about the artwork going on behind the scenes. Well, we have really good news for you because in this update, we've got a ton of brawlers and skins that have been revamped. We have revamped Shelly. Winning! Bull. Don't mess with me! Nita. Yeah! Barley. Bottoms up. Brock. And Dynamite. I'm getting grumpy! But that's not all. We have a brand new legendary brawler joining the game, and his name is Leon. Leon is a medium range brawler, but what's really cool about him is a super, it's invisibility. His super lets him go invisible for a short amount of time. Also taking damage or attacking will remove the invisibility briefly. This is really, really interesting and it's gonna open up some amazing dynamics between counters and other brawlers that are already out there. I am so excited for you guys to meet him. There are two questions you have all been asking. First, when is Global Release? And second, where is Mortis's hat? Global Release is on the 12th of December. Because tens of millions of you are waiting to get into the game, we decided to slowly roll out Brawl Stars country by country. But more importantly is Mortis's hat. What happened to it? Is it coming back? Here's the answer. Mortis's hat is That's it for this episode of Brawl Talk. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the Brawl news because Brawl -A Days is coming, Global is coming even sooner, so get out there and pre-register now to make sure you get that Star Shelly skin. And we will see you next time. Hello and welcome to Brawl Talk. Today we're gonna tell you everything that's coming in the next update. We have new skins, a new environment, balance changes, and last but not least, a new brawler. I'm Ryan. And I'm Frank. If you wanna be the first one to hear the news, make sure you're subscribed. This update is gonna drop at the end of January. First things first, let's talk balance changes. Now, Brawl Ball, we have heard your feedback. After this update, the ball will not be able to go behind the goal. In addition, passing the ball will consume one attack. Now this is a big nerf to Mortis, but don't worry, he's getting some buffs too. Besides this, we're going to address the metagame in Heist by changing some of the maps. On the character side, we want to address the star powers to make them more equal in power amongst all the brawlers. And last but not least, we nerfed Leon. Let's talk about new content. First, from the end of January, we're going to celebrate Lunar New Year. And with that, there's a brand new environment and three new skins for Brock, Cold, and Daryl. In addition, we've got three more skins coming throughout the month. We have Football <laughs> Bull, Valentine's Day Poco, and Popcorn Ricochet, all coming in February. 
And then in the mid of the month, we're going to introduce the new brawler, Jean. All that and more is coming in the update and we cannot wait for you to see. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Hello and welcome to Brawl Talk. My name's Ryan and we have an incredible update for you. Coming in March, we've got a brand new brawler named Carl. We've got a new skin and a brand new game mode called Siege. Be sure to subscribe because every subscription gets us one step closer to buffing Crow. You looking at me? Let's talk about that brand new brawler. His name is Carl and he is a pickaxe wielding geologist from the gem mine. His main attack is throwing that pickaxe like a boomerang, and his super allows him to leap forward with a whirlwind attack, damaging all of the brawlers around him. I know, if you're like me, you cannot wait to get your hands on Carl, so keep an eye out because he's coming mid-March. To celebrate Clash Royale's third birthday, Mortis is getting a makeover. It's Night Witch Mortis! That's a very good skin. I approve of this message. Thanks, Drew! And the news you've all been waiting for, we've got a brand new game mode and it's called Siege. It's got safes, it's got turrets, it's got robots, double rewards, double XP, and double trophies! This game mode is insane. You're gonna defend your safe with a turret, and in the center of the map will be a lot of boxes. From those boxes, you're gonna wanna get all of the bolts to build yourself a robot mech. This robot will attack the enemy safe, so get there quick and destroy their safe before they destroy yours. That's it from me. Be sure to subscribe, because if you don't, Bo is never getting a remodel. We will see you next time. So I get my gems now, Ryan. Thanks, Drew. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so stupid. Is it? <laughs>
Sibanita. I need water. Oh my god, this hairspray smells terrible. <laughs> It's time for another Brawl Talk. And welcome to Retropolis. In this new update, we are getting a new brawler, new skins, and a completely new environment. I'm Danny. And I'm Frank. Let's get right to it. So Frank, could you tell me what this Retropolis is all about? Retropolis is an entirely new area in the world of Brawl Stars. You will see a lot of leather jackets, fast rides, and neon lights. Besides a few familiar faces, there will also be a new one. So what do we know about this new brawler? So what we know about the new brawler is that her name is Bibi and she's bad as girl with her trusted baseball bat and she's gonna wreak havoc on the battlefield. So how about her game mechanics? So unlike other brawlers, she has a little something extra. She has three swings with her baseball bat, but if she's not using any of them, there's a small extra bar which charges. If that bar is full, her next swing also knocks back enemies. And if you wanna learn more about her, Keep an eye out for videos from your favorite Brawl YouTuber. And we heard you. Now you can try BB right away in the training cave as soon as you update your game. So let's talk about skins. So Frank, what do we have? With Retropolis we're going to release three new skins. There's going to be Hot Rod Brock, Road Rage Carl and Baking Sale Barley. And last but not least, a shout out to Canada. Two years after the soft launch over there, we're also going to release Maple Barley. So Danny, what about maps? We are getting this completely new environment for Gen Grab, Bounty and Heist called Pool's Diner. It's where all our leather jacket brawlers hang out. Fun fact, did you know that many of our maps are made by you, the community? And this update is no exception. And we are also bringing back some classics. But that's not all. We're also going to have balance changes, some new objects for maps, and something Trickshot on Reddit will be very happy about, Club Mail. So that's it for Brawl Talk and get ready for Retropolis. And if you ever want to get Ryan back, you better hit that subscribe button. Bye guys. Oh, really Frank, where is Ryan? I thought, you know. Welcome to the summer edition of Brawl Talk, and as you can see here with me again, Ryan, where have you been? I've been working out my thumbs because we have an amazing update coming this summer. We've got a new brawler, we've got four new skins, we've got some very cool in-game content, and new Watch to the end of the video to find out. The first new thing in this update is a new brawler, his name is Tick. Tick is a metal ball of barely containable energy. His main attack is throwing proximity mines onto the battlefield that will detonate when enemy brawlers walk over them, or after a short delay. And his super is amazing. He detaches his head, 
throws it on the battlefield, and it will go homing after enemy brawlers until it explodes. But if you're on the enemy team, you can shoot and destroy that head before it gets to you. Finally, we have some really good news because Tick is free for all players after 4,000 trophies on the trophy road. It's the summer of robots. This summer, we're going to release four new premium skins, Mecha Crow and Mecha Bow, as well as Robo Mike and Robo Spike. These skins start at 150 gems. So Ryan, what are we going to do for the endgame players this update? Well, currently above 500 trophies, you lose them after the season resets. But now those extra trophies will be converted into a new currency called Star Points. Star Points are really cool because you can spend them in the brand new shop on exclusive items like color variations of Mecha Crow and Mecha Bow. And this concludes this month Brawl Talk. Not yet. That's not it. Right, welcome to Brawl Talk. Somebody's over. Get back to work. Hello and welcome to Brawl Talk. We've got a quick update for you now that we're back from summer vacation. Danny, why don't you tell us what's in it? New Brawler, new skins, and star point improvements. So, could you tell us a bit of the new Brawler? Yes, so the new Brawler is called 8-Bit. He's a little arcade machine that will run around the battlefield shooting a laser. And he's super tanky. He's uh, quite slow, wouldn't you say? Super slow, I think he's the slowest brawler ever. He's by far the slowest <laughs> brawler. He's got feet made of cement, or I don't know what <laughs> arcade machines are made of. It's very old, you know. It's very kind old. But his super is really neat. He's got a turret he can throw on the battlefield, and any brawler on your team within this turret's range gets a damage boost. And also, he will be in the trophy road at 6,000 trophies. That's the one. So if you're above 6,000, you get 8-bit for free. And he's really, really fun to play. We had a good time with him playing Jim Grab and Showdown. Uh, you just got to watch out because Crow is super speedy and you are <laughs> not going to be able to chase him. <laughs> you can't outrun that. No. We've got two skins coming at you. The first is one the community has been asking for for a long time. It is Shark Leon coming with the update. In addition, we've got one more skin for 8-bit. Yeah, and it... Let's see if you get the reference. It's kind of old. A little bit. But I trust you. It is called 8-Bit Classic. In addition, we've got two Star Point skins, but first, let's talk about the Star Point improvements. Yeah, so we heard our feedback about not getting enough Star Points. So now we add more ranks, which means more Star Points. And all the information is uh, in the game, so you can just tap on your rank icon and you can see like how many Star Points we will get by the end of the season. So a lot more star points are coming at you after this update. I know those of you in the hunt, the golden bow, might be getting really close really soon. Finally, let's talk about the star point skins. First, we have a star piper skin. Which means if we have a star piper skin, it means that she got a... Remodel. <laughs> Finally, you guys have been asking for months. We've got a Piper remodel coming at you with this brand new skin in the Star Shop. The last skin we have is for Tara, who will also be in the Star Shop. We don't have a name yet. We're still guessing. It might be Aquara Tara. Nobody else likes that <laughs> you, name. You really want to. It's just me. No <laughs> one else likes it. Write it to us in the comments what the name should be, and maybe we can make it happen. Ooh, that would be cool. And we just recently announced our Brawl Stars World Championship. So if you think you've got what it takes and have a couple friends, go apply to join a qualifier. They're happening all over the world. If you don't think you got what it takes, be sure to tune in because it's amazing seeing these pro players play Brawl. Ryan, do you think you could win? Not a chance. <laughs> so that's it for this Brawl Talk. And of course, check on our release notes, more balance changes and new community maps. Be sure to leave a comment down below and tell us what you want to see in the next update. In addition, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time. If we get two million subscribers, we'll shave Danny's head. <laughs> two million? <laughs> we had already. <laughs> Did we get two million already? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, all right, it's on the camera now, so. 
Hello and welcome to Brawl Talk. I'm Danny. And I'm Ryan. And we have a lot of new stuff for you guys. This update is gonna blow you away. We've got a new legendary brawler, three skins, Primo's getting a remodel, and something really, really special we're gonna show you at the end. This is, for me, my favorite update of the year. All right, Danny, so where should we start? Should start with the brawler because it's legendary. Let's do it. Sandy is our newest legendary brawler. He's really cool, looks a little bit like Tara and Jean, I would say. Yeah, kind of purplish. <laughs> kind of purplish. Now, Sandy's a bit sleepy, and his main attack is, of course, throwing sand. So he throws sand at his opponents, and it kind of goes through them, similar to Nita or Tara or Poco. Throwing sand isn't a low blow. It's a very dirty <laughs> move. Sandy's not the nicest brawler. <laughs> and he's super. He actually throws a sandstorm in the field. And then every brawler that's there, every ally brawler, not right. every brawler, that is there is invisible. That's right, and in addition, Sandy's star power, for those in that field, enemies will be damaged while they're there. Like a proper sandstorm. That's right. And now for my favorite part of Brawl Talks, Kings. El Primo is getting a remodel. That means he's got new skins for El Rey and El Rudo, and they look so cool. You can check them there. Or there. Or there. <laughs> I think El Rudo is my new favorite skin. He's got these bright red evil eyes, looking really neat. Ooh, Evil Primo. Evil Primo. Now that's not all, we've also got three skins coming. Danny, which is your favorite? Uh, I would say it's Jean. I really like Jean, and now he's a pirate. Pirate Jean is coming later in September. In addition, we've got a Sleepy Scandy, Sleepy Sandy <laughs> skin Yeah, it's like coming. a pajama with flip flops. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Sandy's even sleepier with this new skin. And last but not least, we have Red Wizard Barley coming too. That you can buy with star points. That's right. El Primo's not the only one getting improved. Summer Jessie's skin looks so cool now. Her little particle cannon shoots big water splashes. It's awesome. And Beach Brock shoots sharks. Shooting <laughs> sharks? How could it get better than that? And don't forget about Piper. Piper, her portrait, is getting a little change. And we've got some really exciting news about Brawl Stars Esports. We have dates from November 14th to 17th. We have a place, G-Star Korea in Busan. It's the capital of esports. Danny and I will be there. A bunch of the Brawl Stars team will be there. So come see us. And if you can't join in person, be sure to tune in. So Danny, what are you most excited about in this update? I would say it's a legendary brawler. Wrong! The most exciting thing in this update are not one, but two new game modes. We have Lone Star, a free-for-all bounty. And Takedown is a free-for-all where whoever does the most damage to the bot in the middle wins the game. So is there something left on our script? I don't think so. Basically, don't listen to the producers. <laughs> <laughs> we we write our own scripts. Yeah. <laughs> it says here I'm Brian. Hello and welcome to Brawl Talk. I am Mortis. Hey, I thought I was supposed to be Mortis. Oh, come on, Danny, we talked about this. Well, I'm the cooler Mortis anyway. Yeah, but I'm the- Guys, 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 calm down and let me be frank. I am Frank and this is Broadween. All right, let's talk about the Brawloween update. Danny, tell us about it. We have a new environment, my home, Mortis Mortuary. It's a new environment for mo uh, trivia modes and showdown. For the first time, we're having a new showdown environment. That's right, Mortis's Mortuary, which is my home. <laughs> we'll also have a new game mode called Graveyard Shift. In Graveyard Shift, some of you will remember when we had a game modifier, which was called Life Leech. So. Graveyard Shift works very similar. So when playing, you're losing health over time, and in order to regain life, you need to damage other brawlers or take them out. One difference to before, this time around, you can actually also play Graveyard Shift with two players. That's right, original brawlers will love to have Life Leech back. And we've got a new brawler called Ems. So Ems, uh, it's a social media star and also a zombie. She uses a hairspray as her main attack. Could explain this a bit. Yeah, again, she's a zombie, so she's using the hairspray to smell good. And That's not what hairspray is. <laughs> <laughs> and her main attack is literally a cloud of hairspray moving forward 
and then standing in place for a moment. It causes damage over time on the whole area and also lingers for a moment. So it's a really nice tool for area denial. Her super is really cool too. It's a big area of effect that damages brawlers inside of it. It also slows them down. And it's a pretty big area of effect that follows her. Um, it's about the size of Sandy's, except it will follow her around as she moves. And you know what's cool about her? She's free at 8,000 trophies. That's right. Skins. Frank, tell us about the skins. For Brawlerween, we have three new skins. The first one is Witch Shelly. Then we have Werewolf Leon. And last but not least, Piper Calavera coming out on the Day of the Dead. Besides that, we also have a new Star Point skin, Dark Knight Jesse. But that's still not it. There's also a brand new style for Frank. So Frank gets an actual a little upgrade. And besides that, he also gets a new skin. It's DJ Frank party time. What else, guys? There's a, another new game mode, right? That's right. We have a new event slot coming called Power Play. This is going to be really special for the end game players. You unlock it when you get your first maxed brawler. And how this works is you can only play three matches a day. And at the end of the season, these matches will be counted and the winners will get star points. The first one, the top player of the entire world, will get 50,000 star points for the number one player. That's a gold mecha bow right there. Get ready for Brawloween. The update is coming soon. And if you want more quality content like this, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. Also, don't forget to vote on the comments down below who is the best wearing the best costume. Vote for me. Vote for me. It's me. Frank. Frank. I'm a creature of the night. <laughs> I think that was a perfect day. Take. Do we then, then continue like, because we didn't say anything about Brawloween or anything, so. Is it unclear Ooh. that it's Brawloween? <laughs> <laughs>
That's right. She's got a sniper attack that uses B helper drones as the bullets. And her super is really cool. She actually fires a little swarm of bees that can go through walls and slows and poisons her enemies. In addition, B will be coming with a skin in this update, which is of course called Ladybug B. And it's super cute. And that's not the only brawler in this update. There's also Max. She wants to be a superhero, but she's not quite there. So she drinks a lot of energy drinks and she uses turbines to go super fast. Max is super duper speedy and she fires a lot of quick bursts of bullets. Her super attack is really, really special. She drops this little radius that speeds up all friendly brawlers around her so you can race across the battlefield. Can you imagine 8-bit running that fast? Normal speed, 8-bit <laughs> is real. And since we are in this pirate ship already, why not talk about the new game mode? That's right, we've got a brand new game mode only here for a limited time called Present Plunder. I just named it right now. <laughs> and in this game mode, your goal is to steal presents from the opponents before they steal yours. So it, it works quite similar to Brawl Ball, except you have like two presents, so you can actually score at the same time as your enemy. It's a little bit like Capture the Flag combined with Brawl Ball, and it is really, really fun. We've been testing it a lot and having a great time. You can pass the presents over walls. It's another mechanic that's different. <laughs> yeah. Super fun. Finally, let's talk a little bit about eSports. Coming this January, we have a championship challenge coming to Brawl Stars. So it's open for everyone, and we are using this feature to actually qualify for the Brawl Finals uh, in 2020. That's right. All you've got to do is get 15 wins before three losses, and you are well on your way to the 2020 Brawl Stars Championship. And also, the prize pool for the next year got boosted. That's right. Let's say it together. The prize pool for the 2020 Brawl Stars Championship is $1 million! Plus, that's not only $1 million, because the community can buy in-game offers, and that will be added to the prize pool. And that's not all, we are also getting tons of community maps and playing with randoms will be slightly better. I think this is one of the biggest updates to ever hit Brawl Stars and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and have a happy Brawl Days. And then last but not least, my favorite, Captain Colt. Captain Colt, <laughs> I had one job. You had one job. <laughs> what happened to you? And last but not least, Captain Carl. That's right. <laughs> I can't do this. We must have one take of that. Captain Colt. Captain Carl. Captain Carl. Captain Carl. 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 Hello and welcome to Brawl Talk. Happy 2020. And a happy Lunar New Year. We have a brand new environment, a new brawler, skins, and so much more coming at you in this update. First things first, let's talk about the new environment. It is an arcade, and clearly this is most likely where 8-Bit is from, if you hadn't guessed. The arcade takes inspiration from Japan, Korea, and China. And yeah, as Ryan said, it's an environment where some of our brawlers are at home. In addition, Coming in this update, we have a new brawler. His name is Mr. P. He's an amazing brawler. His main attack is a little bit of a uh, shooting projectile, and then when it hits its target, it does a little bounce with some area of effect damage. His super is a spawning item, and from this item, you have little penguin drones spawning, and these then go on and attack enemies with a ranged attack. And coming in this update, Mr. P will come with a skin called Agent P. Lunar New Year wouldn't be the same without new skins. And these skins are themed around the idea of the arcade. So we have Heroin Bibi, which is really cool because Bibi didn't have a skin so far, as well as Street Ninja Tara, again, a brawler which only had one skin so far. But that's not all. 8-Bit was taken over by an evil virus and he got really, really evil. It's virus 8-bit. In addition, keep an eye out on Valentine's Day because we have a very special skin that might be showing up then. And finally, we were inspired by a community post that was raising money for charities in Australia to help prevent the wildfires. So we decided to do our part as well. Coming in this update will be Kuala Nida. 
and all of the net proceeds from this skin for the first few months will be donated to help charities in Australia. We have other improvements going on. So based on your feedback, we decided to actually revamp the trophy road a little bit and make it a little bit better. And don't worry, if you finish the trophy road already, you will have a free mega box waiting for you after the update. Besides this, we also made the decision to remove takedown and lone star for the moment. And with that, the solo mode. And let's talk about the championship challenge. Out of millions of players, a huge congrats to the 21,126 of you who got 15 wins, beat the challenge, and will move on to the qualifiers. In addition, keep an eye out because we've got some great improvements coming to the champ challenge next month. We are really excited for this update and we cannot wait to see you there. Be sure to subscribe. Wait, there is more. Oh, that was a long video, huh, guys? But don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and we see each other again in March. I was gonna say all that before you interrupted us. And can you believe that he was in makeup for 20 minutes for this? The whole time. <laughs> Are you waiting for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's our <laughs> outtake. We've been waiting for you the entire video. <laughs> there are so many outtakes out there already.